Hey, Giles. Giles. Giles! What? Oh, finally, I got you to notice. Anyways, I've got some exciting news. Go on. So, um, yesterday, um, I found this girl online, and I've been uh, talking to her for a very long time, and uh, we're going out now. That was bad. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. I've, I've actually brought her along. Do you want to come and see her? Sure. Why not? Really? Good day to you people, my name is Shitty Director, and your I'm, name is? I'm bored. He's bored, and welcome to the fifth episode of... Uh, what is it? Game Talk? I have no idea. It's Game Talk, yes. Well, it's your series, not mine. Well, I thought you would know. I can't remember. Welcome to the fifth episode of Game Talk, where today we talk about... What was it again? Visual novels. Thank you. No, now, <laughs> now, you're probably wondering, Thomas, why are you wearing a different t-shirt? It's because, um... He's recording this on multiple days, probably. Yeah, so, you're seeing this in December, and the sketch you saw was in October. So, yeah, large gap of time. But like I said, it was because of my retakes. Physics. Yeah, retake yeah. exams and stuff. So now that the script is fully done, and we're doing this, we can go straight into it. So Giles, do your magic snapping fingers, so we can get into it. Fine. If you guys do didn't know what a visual novel is, then... Where have you been? <laughs> a visual novel is an interactive game that tells a story and allows you to sometimes make choices that would affect the outcome of the story. Or just follow a preset storyline. So, put it bluntly, it is an online book. It's kind of hard to say what the first visual novel was or when it came out, but after doing some research, it is considered the oldest visual novel to come out is this uh, title. I can't be asked to say because, you know, I'm not Japanese and I'm worried I'll butcher the name. And it was developed by a Japanese company called Limit Max. Ever since then, visual novels have become a big thing in the anime community. To name, a, to name a couple of visual novels out there now is Neko Para and the Sakura Games. Neko. Neko Para. Eh, whatever. I don't care. He's put it down as Necro Para. I thought it was Necro Para. Do you know what Necro is? Well, yeah, Necro more. The, yeah, it's dead corpse. Dead cats galore. Yay. Great. Anyway. In fact, many popular animes have a visual novel such as Clanad, When They Cry, Fate's Day Night, and even School Days. By the way, I would recommend you don't, you know, watch it. Or read it. This is visual novels, remember? But yeah, <laughs> it does have an anime adaptation. Well, anyway. Uh, there are several uh, different uh, genres of the visual novel. You can uh, have romance being one of the most popular, at least in this day and age it is. And then you will also have horror and ergo. Um, I hope I pronounced that correctly. And if you don't know what eroge is, it's basically... Eroge, right. It's basically hentai. Yeah, there are visual novels like that. And if you don't know uh, the Japanese word for porn, it's that. And there are comedy type visual novels as well. So, we're gonna, so just like this one on screen, Tank Simulator. This is a game where you have to date tank girls. I wish I was making that up. Well, yeah. Funny enough, this is not the only odd type of visual novel. There is a visual novel where you get to date pigeons, go to school where pants are not allowed, you fall in love with a cyclops, date the cast of normal boots, the list goes on and on and on. Now, now the most important part of this video, our opinions to visual novels. For me, I say visual novels are not really my type of thing. I mean, granted, it does create a type of atmosphere and you can bond with the characters, but there are just some parts where it takes too long to get to the main point. 
Mm, points. Some don't have a bloody point. Um, I've played um, a few visual novels. Probably not one of the best ones. I have not, out of this moment, played very long visual novels, which are said to be very good. Um, most of the ones we've listed so far, I have not played. Uh, the only ones which we have listed and I have played are any of the Sakura games, Nekopado, or what were some of the other ones we've listed? Um, no. Well, no, I haven't played School Days, I haven't played uh, Fate Stay Night or any of the really serious, good named title ones. So, maybe my opinion is a slight bit void in the case of what is a good visual novel and not. But so far, I've played a few mm. soft sort of visual novels where you don't have many choices, and only one where the choices really made a difference. I guess for both of us, one of our favorite visual novels, and the only kind of visual novel that I was sort of interested in, was, um, what was it, Song of Sire. That <laughs> That was a really good, that is a really good visual novel. You can download it off the internet, but trust me. You have me, to pay for it, that one. That one you do have to pay for, yeah. it's not free. Um, most uh, visual novels aren't free, but uh, they're usually quite cheap. Mm. A Song of Sire was not yeah. one of those. Basically, Song of Sire is about this guy who recovers from this terrible accident, and the scientists try and repair his brain with this new technology, and let's just say things don't really go well for him afterwards. Yeah, uh, not really wanting to give off spoilers, but yeah, he's given uh, brain damage in an accident, and they try to use a uh, microscopic machine, I believe they do use the term nanite, um, in the story, and everything is kind of flipped around. It's everything he perceives, not just sees, but perceives everything. Sight, smell, taste, sight, I've said that twice, never mind, um, is flipped around. Everything looks like entrails and gore, and then we see this girl who looks normal from his eyes. I really, now, yeah. Exact uh, on that? You'll have to read it to find out if you're interested enough. Just be prepared to listen to um, horrific growling, grumbling, and snarling for most of the voice acting. And you guys, you guys know me. I like my horror. And Song of Sire does this really perfectly. It's it's about paranoid visual. He hasn't horror. actually played it. Well, I sort of read it. You've seen some parts of it, which I showed you. Yeah. You haven't actually played it. <laughs> but. Um, when Jar showed me to it, I keep telling myself I need to go and get it, but I just never found the time like I normally do. But yeah, that's the f that's the one visual novel I've got so far. You would have to edit it extremely. Warning: um, if you do decide to buy Song of Sire, um, there are sex scenes in it, and you can't turn them off. So, in conclusion, visual novels are a mix, and it can be enjoyable for people. Or it can be, you know, boring for them. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. You like what you like. Yeah, and there's a genre for any of your tastes. So there you go. That's, uh, well, our opinions on visual novels. For me, it's, for me, you know, it can be interesting. But for me, it's not the type of thing I would, you know, go on. Yeah, well, uh, I obviously do like them. And... Whatever you choose, like them or not, we won't judge. Apart from why the hell did you click on this video if you weren't yeah. interested. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah, this this took a very long time to make because, you know, I had stuff to do, Giles had stuff to do. So, all, but we managed to get it all together in one place. So I'm glad that it worked out. And I thank Eagle Eye for joining me today on this special occasion of visual novels. Yeah, because uh, you wouldn't get the bloody footage yourself. Yep. <laughs> but anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you like, comment, favor, and subscribe to see more content like this. Eagle Eye's channel will be linked in the description below. And we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Carefully. Good day to you people. My name is Shitty Director.
And your name is? I have clinical depression. <laughs> Good day to you people. My name is Thomas and I am a shitty director. And if you could hear that, that was me wanking. <laughs>